Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome back to today's event. You're welcome to um, the last session, actually, of our Leather Technology and Trade Online Summit. Of course, my name is Victor Nyebwadu, and today we are looking at effective use of social media for leather craft um, businesses and leather craft practitioners. I have my good friend, Password TV. Uh, just before I invite him to, you know, blew us away with his awesomeness i'd like to point out to you that password tv is on all of the social media channels he's on instagram he's on youtube he's on TikTok. so um follow him on all of those channels and he's someone that um i really really look up to um in terms of effective utilization of social media and um he's going to be giving us a few tips this is going to be a very very quick session uh just to remind you guys that after this session then um this would actually be the last of our sessions for the summit but um for bear we are going to have the certificates and all of the slides and presentations that we have um used during the course of these three days are going to be sent to you um in the emails that you put out but let me uh call password tv just now to just give us a quick rundown of who he is um the kind of work that he does um and then you know just um start giving us those tips let's not waste so much time so i got password i see that you are at work i see that you are at work and then you just had to uh come in to quickly uh so I'm trying to run away from the noise. I think where I am now. Okay. okay. So go ahead and do that um while I try to prep our people for what to expect to hear from you. So All password right, so TV is someone who effectively uses social media to do the work that he does. He's actually a media personality, he operates out of the beautiful city of Ibado, and he's been my good friend for going to um two years now so um he has a quite a few thoughts to share with us today okay password the people on the live stream are leather crafters right okay. people who work with their hands and i know that you deal um in the line of your business with such people a lot you consult for such people and you help them brand and market some of their products so I want to ask you um, to just give us a general overview of what you have to um, discuss with us today. I'm saying that you should give us a general overview of what you want to discuss with us today. And after that, um, I'll now come back and ask you a few um, okay. in-point questions. Okay. And then we'll also take questions from the audience. Go ahead, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. So part of the things I'm going to be, I'm going to be discussing on today I'll be going, because I'm using my phone, I have to go back and forth. So I'll be reading out some of the points I'll be discussing today. And part of the things I'll be discussing today is strategies um, leather crafters can consider to elevate their content to an A game. And part of the strategies are quality content, consistency, uh, quality storytelling, um, hashtags, they should also look into collaborations, um, um, they should also look into um, watching tutorials, tutorials, tips, and also consider using more of user-generated content, yeah, and influencer collaboration, yeah. And above all, they should ensure that they get feedbacks and suggestions from their audience. So that is going to be everything that we're going to be discussing today. Excellent. Go ahead, sir. So you, I, I, I heard you say quality content. So yeah. you know, let me take it bullet point after bullet point and drill down. Go ahead, sir. All right. So when I mean quality content, I don't mean your content must be sharp. It has to be clean. Yes, that is what people mean by quality content. But when I mean quality content, I mean resourceful content, resourceful videos. 
sorry, videos, <coughs> sorry, videos that your audience will watch, and at the end of the video, they have something to take away from the video. Those are what I refer to as quality content. Content that will trigger them to come back to your page again and again. Those are quality content. Content that are, that are, that are educational, content that are informative or, and entertaining. So those are quality content. So regardless of the type of phone you use, regardless of the type of camera you use, when you focus on quality content, you tend to stand out among your mates. So that is my first, my first uh, bullet point. Another bullet point I have on my list is consistency. And when I talk about consistency, I mean coming out, whether rain, whether sunshine, whether you are happy, whether you are sad, whether you have money, whether you don't have money, coming out to create content, dropping that videos back to back to back. That is what makes you stand out among your peers. But if you are coming online to upload videos, only when you have resources, only when you have, only when you are happy, only when you are uh, okay to film, people will not take you serious because you are not, you are creating videos or creating content out of your comfort zone. And comfort zone is not something that will take you to the next level. So you have to be consistent no matter the weather, no, with, against all odds. You have to be consistent with quality content. Now, my third bullet point is storytelling. When I talk about storytelling, I talk about how you want people to um, digest your videos. Now, starting from the beginning of your videos, that is where you grab them. There's something we call the hook. The hook, H-O-O-K, 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 the hook. That is what you start your video with. You don't start your video with, hi guys, welcome, and my name is, they don't care about you. Start your video with whatever you want them to learn in the video. Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm teaching you guys how to make this leather craft in three minutes. And today, I want you guys to join me. They will keep watching, but we keep telling them the story of your life and everything, they will bounce off because they are looking for solutions. They are watching your videos because they want to, they want to get something. So teach them whatever you want to teach them and leave the subscription for them. They will subscribe because they want to get more from you. You. you don't need to keep telling them subscribe to my channel so drop a comment so do this no do what you promise them first deliver your mandate first so when you work on your storytelling your your delivery how you tell your story how you and another thing about storytelling is remove the flaws be fast with your video people don't have time to waste if you if you film a video of 20 minutes and there's so much ah uh, so uh, mm, cut all of those places off by the time you trim those places off people watch your videos with so much it makes your videos more interesting so but then i can take questions about storytelling or any other part as time goes on so my next point after storytelling is collaborations so collaborations makes you go further or further with your content creation because you tend to learn more from other content creators. You 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 see you see um, uh, content creation from another angle. And another thing about another beauty about content um, collaboration and content creation is you tend to tap into other people's audience. For example, now people from from of these folk audience they now get to know me. People don't know me. People don't know me for the this is the power of collaboration. You collaborate with fellow people in your audience. I tell people, don't compete, collaborate. Don't compete, collaborate. Form a formidable bond and unite together. And that way, we tend to grow and grow and grow. So when you collaborate with your fellow creators, especially if you're in the same niche, you treat, you treat some topics together, they share their ideas, you discuss on your channel, on your platform, people get to know them, their audience get to know you too. So that way you people get to know each other better and better. Another bullet point on my, on my list here is watching tutorials. Watching tutorials and getting what it. I tell people, there's no limit to what you can learn. Keep learning, keep learning, keep learning. At least in a week, I watch not less than four tutorials 
on all platforms, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. I try as much as possible to learn at least four things, four new things in a, in a week. So that way, I try out new things. I try a new style of edit, a new style of storytelling, a new way to tell my story so that you grow. Watch tutorials. Follow people that you learn from, people who are bigger than you. Don't follow them because you want to farm them or something. Follow them because you want to sincerely learn from them. Watch tutorials and always ask questions. So my next uh, point here says influencer collaboration. So for the influencer collaboration, my point, <laughs> sorry, my point about this is if you have big brands in your niche, you can collaborate with them, get brand proposal, brand sponsorship, collaborate with them as an influencer. That way you have more power in your niche, in your community. When people see you collaborating with a bigger brand, maybe there's a brand that makes a particular product in your niche, and people see you collaborating with them, you become a force to reckon with in your, in your niche. Because people see you like, ah, if this particular brand can reach out to you to collaborate, it means you're a force to reckon with. So that way you get more power in your niche and you, you, you have a strong hold of your community. Another, another, Another thing on my list here says feedback and suggestions. So this is something I do so well on my YouTube channel. I get a lot of feedback from my audience. For every video that I drop, I ask them in the video, in the, in the description section that, what do you want me to show you in my next video? What would you like to see? So the comments and the feedback I get from them is what I will work on to make the next video for them. That way, they know that they are getting back their that way they know that they are a part of your community. That way they know that their voices is being heard. That way they, they know that you are listening to them. So get feedback from your community, work on their suggestions and grow. So that way you leverage up your audience and you grow. Thank you so much for the short. <laughs> so that this no, no, no. Very, 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 very concise. I actually like, yeah, I actually like how concise, eh? Uh, you did I actually like that it was very very concise and direct to the point and i have my notes right <laughs> which is actually no 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 very very solid uh, but i'm going to ask you a few questions you, you um so that i understand everything you're saying i'm a content creator myself yeah but many of people in the audience here are not creating content because they want to be creating content Okay. They are creating content because they want to sell their products. Okay. They want to sell their products as craftsmen. Of course, there are some of them who are creating content. Okay. I've seen that my, my friend Shalom here is a YouTuber as well. So um, everything you said sits very well with um, Shalom. But there are people who just want to create content because they want to sell their product. And everything you've said here works absolutely for them. Yeah. The same point you've made about creating quality content has to be made. And I like, I kind of like the point uh, that you made about quality content doesn't mean it was shot with the best camera in this world. Can you, you know, drill down a bit to why somebody who has a techno phone? can create quality content to sell his product. Can you just, you know, maybe talk a little bit about that? And, so, yes. so, thank you very much, Mr. Pomo, this book. So, here's yeah. what I tell people. Regardless of the type of videos, um, camera that you use, people will watch your videos, yeah? But then, try and have it at the back of your mind that in the next few months, in the next few weeks, you have it at the back of your mind to upgrade your equipment. It's not as if, okay, because people are watching, you are stuck on that same uh, level for a long time. No. People will watch your videos. For example, let me give you an, uh, an instance. If there's a robbery going on outside, and I use a techno phone to record the robbery, will people watch the robbery? Yes. Because they want to see. People will even, if, even if the footage is shaky, 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 they will still see. Why? They will still watch because it's a quality content for them at that time. 
So quality content for everybody is different. I may see a video that is talking about how to build a website, and I will not watch. Why? It's not a quality content for me. But for some other set of people, it's quality content for them. So it is the, it is the content of your video that will determine whether your video is quality or not. Now, quality audio, quality video, they have a way of ranking your videos. They have a way of appealing to your audience. But be rest assured that if you shoot a beautiful nonsense with a high quality phone, people will realize, and in a very short while, they won't watch your videos. But if people know that you have substance, be rest assured that I've seen it happen over and over again. One of your audience can actually reach out and say, I love your videos, guy. I want to buy a better phone for you. But that does not mean you should not start making videos because you are looking for somebody to buy a better phone for you. No. Make videos because you want to put your content out there. You want to um, educate them about a particular topic. You want to entertain them. You want to make them informed. Now, to sell your product using social media, there are some other ways you can go around it. For example, you can make videos about why your brand stands out as regards other brands. Why you can show people your behind the scene. People love to sit behind the scene of you making your stores. Show them the types of leather that you have. Show them why you are using this leather as against this leather. Show them, people will be like, ah, your own is too expensive. Tell them in your video why you are selecting this particular type of leather. Teach them how to preserve their shoes so that their shoes are going to last longer than every other shoes. By doing all of this, they know that you know what you are doing and they will patronize you more than every other person because you know this person knows what he's doing. So create content that will make you stand out from your mates and that way you get, you get more sales. Excellent. Thank you. And I like something that you said here. Eh? Quality content is the content that informs entertains and uh, maybe motivates as well so i yeah. like the fact that you po you pointed that um out very well and you know and gentlemen in the audience you hear that he keeps on referring to videos 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 we craft people typically don't like to create videos we just like to shoot still pictures still pictures are good but in this life in today's world videos rank higher so yes. um the fact that he keeps on repeating videos should tell you that you should go and learn how to create and edit your own videos and yes. add that to um some of the skill sets that you have uh other password you talked about consistency yes sir. that means whether come rain come sun come shine be consistent but yes. these are family people who have uh, customers to satisfy uh, yeah. who have wives to take care of who have children who probably also yeah, have yeah, bro. <laughs> Same here, bro. i have i left my family see yeah i'm here at work. let me show you see i'm here at work. I'm out yeah work. i have to leave work to come down yes. to make work happen so it's about it's about priority see yes if we, tell, if we tell these people that for every video that you upload, you are getting hundred dollars. They will upload five videos every more day. More and more videos. Yeah. Yes. So it's a yes, yes. If you want to make yeah. it happen, the rest are sure that you make it happen. I've, yeah. I've learned something with humans. Whatever human beings want to do, they will find every means to make it happen. Whatever they want, don't they don't want to do, they will make excuses. You find an excuse. Sure, you get. Yes. See me, I guess you. I guess I'm you. A woman, I could have told you that I'm at work, that I can't make this meeting happen. But against all odds, I had to come to the basement to ensure that we get this done. So it's about, okay, if you say you have customers to attend, that's why like, make a video about a day in my life. Attending to those customers. A day in my life, attending to customers. Attend, just place your video somewhere. Hang your video at one corner and let people see how a day in your life went. Just edit it. There are templates on CapCut. Just fix the video inside. You get it done. Do you understand? Even if it is one video per day or three videos in a week, consistency is consistency. Two videos in a week is consistency. 
So it's not about dropping yeah. videos every day. No, 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 no. That's what I mean by consistency. Even if it is one video in a month, you are you are comfortable to do and you are consistent with it. That is consistency. Thank you very much. And you know, when you are consistent, yeah, when you are consistent, you are able to build a following. Let me let me tell you guys what my own um testimony on my channel on my youtube channel is i just decided look it was it's very difficult for me to continue i work i go to work as a lawyer i make shoes and then i have to bring out the content but you know like he said whatever you think is important for you to do you do now people know that at least every friday that i'll put out content Sometimes I really don't have content. I have to buy Wednesday. I'm asking myself, whoa. But then you don't also just put out anything. It has to be something that is um, very, very quality. I would like to just run through some of the questions that I have. And gentlemen, if you have any question you want to ask a uh, password, uh, please put them in the comment section so that um, they will start coming in and then we can ask him in one fell swoop. One last thing that I wanted to bring your attention to um, about storytelling. Yeah. Yeah, storytelling. Um, you talked about the hook. Um, you talked about deliver on your mandate. Um, yeah. well, how I interpret it is storytelling is not about you. It's about yeah. the audience. It's, yes, about, yes, so yes. it's about the person who is hearing the story. So of yeah. course you don't um, you can't preach to an empty church, which is why yeah. the hook is important. So you use the hook to drag them, and then immediately don't waste their time. You deliver um, the content. You deliver on what you set out to do. But talk to us again about collaborators. You mentioned something about um, don't compete, collaborate, which is what I do. But I want you to drill down. You know much more specifically on how for instance a give some examples of how a craftsman can collaborate with another craftsman or even collaborate with somebody in an entirely different industry and why that um, might help in your branding uh, efforts so uh as the fact that uh, other platforms apart from um, YouTube, makes collaboration easier now. Instagram now has a way of collaboration that you can link a post on two accounts together. Yeah. <coughs> so, Sorry. There are different ways to collaborate as a craftsman. Number one, you can find a topic to discuss together, answer questions like interview like this, do that. Number one, we can do that, answer questions that you know people have been wanting to get answers to. That is one. Number two, you can invite a fellow craftsman to your studio, to your workshop, to do a tutorial for your audience on how to do a particular kind of course, how to do a particular kind of thing that, they, that would be useful for them, for your audience. Rather than you doing it, tell a fellow craftsman to do it for your audience. So when the person comes, you are also there, and by the time it's about to get good life, you can do a, collab a, a collaboration post on Instagram. I don't know how feasible it is on YouTube, but on YouTube, you can feature on each other's channel, give each other shout out. Hi guys, on today's episode, I have with me social person, social person on this um, platform. Um, this is what he does and everything. And today, this person is going to be teaching us this, this and that. So that way, you are already familiar with the person's audience. The new audience are also familiar with you. Some of them will check out your page, see what you've had before, and check out every other videos you've done in the past, and subscribe to your channel, reach out to you, and automatically they convert to be part of your audience too. So that way, it's a win-win for everybody. Thank you very much, uh, Oga Password. Very, very um, very salient point that you made there about collaboration. I am one person who believes in collaboration rather than competition. There is nobody in our industry who 
is doing big things that the first thing that comes to my mind will be how to compete with the person rather i'll reach out and collaborate um with such a person and that is the way the world is going and i'm very very glad um that you pointed it out i see that you said that you are at work so i want to make this very very um sharp and concise so that you can get back to work so um yeah. at this point yeah, let me yes yes okay so let me just take a few questions that some people have asked okay, that okay, we can okay. read you yes. okay so someone said if you are if you are a shoe brand and you are not a shoemaker what type of content can attract your customers um let me quickly answer that if you are a brand but you're not a maker right then you can make content about the type of you are a brand your brand stands for something your brand represents something what is it that that your brand represents let me give you an example of what your brand can represent me i tell people that my brand is not really at this time a luxury brand but it is a tough brand it is the shoes i make are shoes that you will wear and they will not spoil right so you can tell the story about how you source your leather. You can tell the story about the amount of craftsmanship that goes into producing every single pair. You can tell the stories of past customers who have bought your brand, their own testimonials. So there are, there's a wide array of stuff that you can do. Um, so... Uh, um, DK Stella, I think um, that should answer your question very well. But for you who are a brand, I think um, he's okay. For you who are a brand, um, that creating content should be something that you take very, very seriously. Uh, someone here says, and this, I'll let you answer this one. This is not craft. She said, you should list important backdrops uh, that she can buy. Wow, I hope his battery hasn't um, packed up already. Not craft. Uh, well, the backdrops you can buy, I don't like doing the usual. While we wait for um, Password to come back, let me just see if I can um, attempt that your question. First of all, use what you have, right? I started making, I had, I, I, I was making YouTube videos publishing YouTube videos and putting them out every week when I had a China phone. All I had was a China phone, and that was what I shot. In fact, I had my first 1,000 subscribers on YouTube using my China phone. So it's not about the backdrop. The point I'm trying to make is it's not about the equipment. Um, I had a boss who used to always say that the lazy craftsman blames his or her tools right? So the tools are not um, the most important things. Of course, you know what appeals to you. So when you see those backdrops, um, buy them. But let me leave it to the expert. I don't know if you are seeing the question um, in the ticker line here. Notcraft is asking that you should list um, the important type of backdrop. backdrop. Yes, so yes, yes, yes. Important backdrops to buy. I'm not a... I'm not a studio <laughs> kind of filmmaker, so I'll not say, okay, buy this backdrop. Buy this. I'm, I will advise you, start with what you have. If you can afford backdrops, go for any color that you know is, is good. But then one of the best colors to use is color white. White is a very good color or black. So that way you're able to use it for multi-purpose and every other thing. So it doesn't choose colors or whatever. But then, I don't use backdrops, so I may not be in the best position to advise you on what type of backdrops to buy. But then, because the type of videos that I do, I make videos of myself, tell people my story, do this and that. So I don't use backdrops. I just tell my story the way it comes. I'm more of a documentary filmmaker. So I don't use backdrops. I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a fixed kind of filmmaker but regardless if you want to buy backdrops to showcase your crafts and every other thing i'll i'll, I'll prefer you go for the for two colors white 
or black. <clears throat> so that if you want to if you want to showcase a white shoe, you can use the black backdrop, or you want to showcase a black shoe, you can use the white backdrop. Excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. Um uh this is also from <clears throat> Atoa Messi. She says, as a bag maker, what kind of video content can I create? I think um right, when so, I answer, yeah, right, go so ahead. As a bag maker, you can teach them styling tips on how to wear the bag. You can teach them um styling tips on how to rock your bags. You can teach them fashion tips on colors to match with your bags, how to take how to dress and every other thing. So these are part of the things that will inspire them to say, okay, let me patronize Atoa's bags. I think she knows what she's doing. You can teach them how to how to maintain their bag, how to how to take care of the bags, what, where to place them. Should they dry clean it? Should they wash it with water? Is it waterproof? How to protect the bag from getting spoiled? So if you create those type of content, you want to patronize your brand because they already know that okay, this type of bag is durable. All you need to do is take care of these bags and every other thing. You can also teach them. You can also create content behind the scenes, how you make those bags. You can also create content on how you source for the leather. So they know that what you are getting for them is correct materials and every other thing in between. Excellent. And Messi, what I'll say to you is, you know, when Password was talking, he, talks, he said he learns at least four things every week. Go on all of the social media. Find the bag makers who inspire you the most. Watch the kind of content that they create and then ask yourself, how can I do it better? You may not end up doing it better, but I can tell you that you will discover yourself in that journey. That's my advice um, at this moment. Um, Oh, that password, whenever you are good to go, eh? uh, I, I, I promise, My phone is already yes, I promise you 30 minutes. Well, if it goes off, no problem. Thank you so much. Let me just run through. If it goes off, that's fine. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. Yes, 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 you can. Yeah, you can. Let's let password go. Yes. Bless you. I'll see you guys later. Connect with you guys. Thank you so much. Subscribe to my guys YouTube channel and drop comments. Let us know. <laughs> then you guys also go to Password TV and subscribe to him. He does. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. And I want to say that if you are looking for inspiration, right? If you are looking for inspiration about the kind of video content to create, check out Password TV on Instagram. Check him out on Instagram. He does everything about products, about food. So he is um, he's a go-to guy for inspiration. And he's down to it. And if you need to consult him for certain things, even if it is product photography, um, he also does all of those. So um, do check him out. But while we're at it, let's um, just run through um, the questions that have already been put in so that we can begin to round off for the evening. Um, so um, at all, Messi, I hope, your question got answered um, very well. He said, um, you have another question here that says, you can get white PVC and, okay, I guess you were responding to not crafts um, question. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you very much. Um, I hope I'm not muted. No, I'm not. Okay, so which other questions? Okay, I guess um, Blessing Ejebu says consistency and quality content. That's about it. And then um, also try to vary your content. Don't make everything about um, selling a product. Make it rather about giving value, giving um, a kind of value. And like you said, value can be in either of entertainment so you could have content about your products but all you are trying to do is to entertain people to make them laugh to make them feel um you know nice about themselves 
um, when people think that you care about them, they will care about your product. So I guess um, that's it about that. Um, somebody, okay, you say um, thank you to Password TV. Uh, Shalom, once again, thank you for being here. Um, I don't know if you guys have been announcing that you guys should go and follow Shalom Peter Gebe on YouTube. Please uh, let me uh, put out his uh, face on the ticker tape so that you guys can see exactly. Uh, maybe I'm not pronouncing his name very well. So go over to his channel and um, do give him a like on some of his videos. And I'm not just saying it because he's my friend. In fact, I've never met him in real life. I just met him on these streets uh, of social media. And that, again, underscores exactly what we are saying. Collaborate. Collaboration is always key. Um, to moving yourself forward. So, ladies and gentlemen, it was designed to be a very, very quick session. Um, I hope you were able to get out a few things out of what um, my other password uh, mentioned today. So, the first thing is quality content. Um, quality content doesn't mean you have to use the best of equipment, but it has. It means that it is giving value to the people that you're um, reaching out to. And the important thing is to think about the audience and not about yourself and try to deliver some value to them. Then he talked about consistency. You must always show up. Whether you have work or you don't have work, show up. In fact, if you apply everything that we've been learning in the course of the past three days, if you don't have work, then do something to replenish your inventory. You remember that we talked about building an inventory and um, replenishing it. So if you find that there is a point where nobody gave you work, then you replenish your inventory and create content out of those. He talked about storytelling. Um, let your content not just be... Even if you are just taking pictures, still pictures, you can take them in such a way that they tell a story. Let's say, for instance, you made a boot and you made the boot for a military man. Are you beginning to get some ideas of the, some kind of stories that you can tell? You know, you can create a skit. The, the, everyone is a skit maker. Now, everybody who has a phone is a skit maker. So you've made boots for um, a military man. You can collaborate with a skit maker in your neighborhood to make a skit out of how that military man used uh, wearing that boot um, dealt with some area boys in the area. Just be creative. Storytelling is king. It's entertaining, it's informative, and people generally um, enjoy um, those kind of contents. So Password also talks about collaboration. And in fact, the example I just gave before now speaks to the point about collaboration then learn always. Don't restrict yourself to just being a shoemaker or a bag maker or a leather crafter. You have a phone. The phone that you have can be a video editor, can be a camera, can be a business suit, can be a bank. Learn how to create content and um, utilize everything that you have to the fullest. So ladies and gentlemen, is there any other question? um someone says thank you mr password please can you recommend any app for editing password is no longer here but i'll recommend two for you um on android in fact both on android and on ios there is CapCut, which is quite easy and then there is ucut y-o-u-c-u-t ucut is easier to use then i think they also have the one they call in but I prefer, me as a person, I prefer UCOT and CapCut. So, um, uh, Ofuku, if I, um, that's my recommendation for you. UCOT and CapCut, and they are free. Of course, there are paid um, options to them, uh, but you can start with the free one. And um, yeah, um, Atoa says InShot and CapCut, yes. Then you can also try out um, UCOT as well. Uh, okay, Shalom said that I'm pronouncing it very, very well. <laughs> he says I'm his mentor. Whoa. All right. Thank you so very much. Um, 
Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, we are rounding off the Leather Technology and Trade Online Summit. Um, it's been a roller coaster ride. Um, I'm happy that you guys have been here with me for the past three days. In fact, I thought it was important to do this because um, government will not do it for us. Um, and we, are, we need to get ourselves organized and start holding things like this um, much more regularly. Start cross-pollinating our ideas and, you know, helping ourselves where we can. So that's why I thought it was impo important um, to hold this summit. I'm hoping that by, the ne by next year, when we will do it again, we would have speakers from outside of Nigeria would have um, speakers from maybe Ethiopia and Kenya who are people that are really, really doing um, big things in the leather space. That's my dream. If anyone out there listening can help uh, to have that come to fruition, I'll be very glad to collaborate with you in any way that I can. So ladies and gentlemen, I've already announced that... Um, uh, we will compile all of the presentations and all of the slides that have been used in the course of these four days and sent to you to the email that you provided to us when you did your registration. We would also send you your certificates um, and, you know, um, so that you can say to yourself that you attended these letter tech and trade online summits. My name is Victor Nyebado. My channel is or more bespoke by now i hope that all of you have subscribed if you haven't this is a good time to remind you to ensure that you do so ladies and gentlemen with this i would like to say god bless you thank you for being here thank you for listening i hope that you will implement um a few of the ideas that you have taken away from this summit uh, until we we'll see you next time god bless you and always check back to um, the channel uh, for the new content that we will implement. And I promise you that even the things that I have learned in this summit, you are going to start seeing them on the channel. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you. See you in the WhatsApp group.